Hi, this is Ryan from mockquestions.com. Here are five progressive interview questions and answers written by expert interviewers from our website. Question number one, what do you know about our culture at Progressive? Before you interview with Progressive, it is essential that you do your research. This includes scanning the company website, checking for online customer reviews, and perhaps speaking to anyone you know who already works in the company. There are five core values that Progressive often talks about. Be sure to review them and can speak to those values and how you align. I have researched Progressive a great deal about your five core values and love that there is such a focus on treating others how we want to be treated. I also spent a lot of time reading employee reviews online and was pleased to read that employees feel like Progressive is an inclusive employer. I also appreciate that your company rewards employee dedication through career growth and educational opportunities. Question number two, one of Progressive's core values is integrity. How do you demonstrate integrity in the workplace? Integrity is listed as number one on Progressive's core value list. This question allows the interviewer to discover more about your character. I always do the right thing, even when no one is looking. In my last position, I was responsible for the cash deposit daily. And in the four years I worked at the company, there was never a discrepancy. There were many opportunities to take money out of the drawer or falsify records, and I was always honest and did what was right. I best show my integrity by being a consistently reliable employee. Question number three, what would you say is your greatest weakness? This question provides insight into your self-awareness and understanding of where you may need development and if you are open to learning and growing in those areas of deficiency. Give an example that is relevant and professional and one that would not be essential to the job you've applied for. Sometimes I struggle to say no to taking on additional tasks when my plate is already full. I'm a team player, love to help others, and like to be seen as someone reliable. So I'm inclined to say yes when others need help. I'm working on being more honest with myself about what I can accomplish in my 40 hour week and limiting how many extra projects or tasks I take on. Question number four, tell me about an error or mistake you made because of a breakdown in communication from you or one of your team members. On occasion, mistakes will happen and communication will be broken. Demonstrate to the interviewer that you can take ownership, find the root cause, then overcome. Learn from the mistake and take action to correct it. I had a manager text me one time about a client who was not happy with the results of my work. I was really upset because I try my best at all times and felt that the conversation would have been better delivered to me in person. The next day, I approached the manager and requested that the future communication of that nature be conducted in person versus text message. I did apologize for my initially defensive reaction. Question number five. If a customer was unhappy, how would you handle the situation? With over 50,000 customers, it's inevitable that a progressive customer will be unhappy at some point. The interviewer wants to understand how you would handle a challenging situation and how you react under pressure. I have several years of experience in customer service and have taken many calls from upset customers, and I feel that conflict resolution is something I excel at. I typically let the customer speak first and actively listen to them without interrupting. To be sure I understand the problem or situation, I repeat back what I heard the problem to be so that I can effectively assist the customer. I empathize and let them know I care about their concern and hear their frustration. And I reassure them that I will do all I can to help them find a resolution. I'm very level-headed and I do not let my emotions get the best of me in these situations. If I cannot assist the customer at my level, I escalate it to the appropriate person who can help them. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, It'd be greatly appreciated if you could subscribe to our channel. It really does help motivate us to continue creating videos. Thanks again, and we hope you stick around to watch more interview practice videos from Mock Questions.